Hey you guys, we are down on South Congress. We are going to be meeting up with Susanna Chaffel. So, uh, come on. What's up? Hey. How's it going, Susanna? Good, how are you? Good. I was awesome. thinking we could just kind of run around South Congress and see what sort of trouble we get into. I think that sounds good. Yeah, let's, let's get inside this. Uh, we gotta do a toast. Lovely. Look how beautiful that is. What are we gonna toast to? Let's toast to the possibility of rain. Yes. <laughs> we Which need it. Awesome. We're at South Congress Cafe. You're originally from Austin. Um, are you a Terrytown girl? No. I've never lived in Terrytown. My mom and my stepdad lived in like Barton Hills area. Mm -hmm. When I grew up over there, and I should state that I didn't actually grow up in Barton Hills. It was kind of this tiny little neighborhood across the way from Barton across Hills called Barton Oaks. Yeah, because I was actually on the ghetto side. I really was. Like, You're like all, the m and M of... Totally. All my friends lived in Barton Hills or Oak Hill. And I lived in this tiny little neighborhood off of Manchac between Ben White and South Lamar. And it was called Barton Oaks. And it was like right down the street from this rock house like uh, apartment complex. It was behind old alligator girl. I don't know. Oh yeah. I used to work there. That was my first hostessing job. Shut up. So I went to Broken Spoke a lot and Saxon Pub and stuff like that when I was younger. In fact, I played both those places as a teenager. Um, and everybody in South Austin loved live music. It was kind of like a way of life. Look at that. Thank you. People who's like, oh my god, Austin is not what it used to be. Because to me, it's, it's progress, it's just the way you check clothes. What do we have going on here? Wow. This it's the quite, birds' vlog party. This is quite the name. What should we do? Where do you want to go? I don't know. If we go that way, there's polka. If we go that way, there's worse tax. Or drinks. I feel or like drink. Where, yeah, where's, the, where's the drinking place? Drink. Let's go find it. It's a Thursday. So we just got out of Birds. We were dancing to New Order and Joy Division, oh, two of my yeah. favorite bands. It was awesome. I felt like um, I was in like seventh grade again or something. Junior High. What yeah. kind of music inspired you? What did you listen to? Junior High was a mix of things. I was into Nirvana just as much as I was into Mary J. Blige. <laughs> But then I got kind of more into like older stuff like Joni Mitchell and Led Zeppelin and Grateful Dead. I kind of did my like little hippy dippy years, you know? Yeah, too. And my parents didn't listen to a lot of classic rock. That like they listened to either folk or Motown. It was weird. Mm -hmm. Or like pop rock. Like Fleetwood Mac was huge. I love Fleetwood Mac, still do. Who doesn't? It was a few years ago, like when I did my first album, I was a little more inspired by folk. I was really into Patty Griffin and Ani DeFranco and Paul Simon and but I was still so into hip hop. And this last album I did was a little more like pop, R&B, funk. I feel like I got a little bit more away from folk because I went more electric, I guess. So the electric guitar tends to digress from folk a little, so. I do feel a lot of, like what you say, it's electronic. It's not just the guitar yeah. though, it's like. Yeah, yeah. You got a little bit of a trip hop feel to it. I like. love that shit, dude. Portishead was like my favorite band. How can you be at Hotel San Jose and not put your feet I know, in your that pool does look really inviting. That is what I'm talking about. It's still 100 degrees outside. How do you... Gotta roll up my, uh, my jeans. Uh, this is gonna feel really good. Ooh, nice. Yay! So, you worked with uh, Danny on this mm -hmm. album. Um, awesome. How do you think that, that that changed the style of the album compared to your last album? Um, Danny is really, one, we like, we're really, we connected on the same kind of music we were being influenced by at the time. Uh, when I met with him first, we kind of talked about like what music we were into. And we were both super into Grizzly Bear, St. Vincent, uh -huh. Nico Case, those, and Camera Obscura. Those were four bands we talked about that I was like, I'm obsessed with the way their albums sound. It wasn't just their 
just their songs or their voices. It was the the way, the production, the way the songs kind of resonated and sounded. I wanted that feel. And I, and I knew right away upon talking to Danny that he was into that. He felt like he could capture it. He, we were on the same page. Well, it's funny, like you mentioned the sound. And like when I think of Grizzly Bear, there's almost like a very clean garage uh -huh. production like it's got this edgy rawness right. but it's so crisp and clean exactly you can hear everything that's going on but you hear it in this just kind of like you said it's just raw it's a little bit of it's got it's got that like edge to it but it's so crisp but none of it gets lost you know to me kind of like the the production, the sound that he added to this mm -hmm. really complements your vocals. It's like, because yeah. there's something about your voice that is a little bit sweet, but with a little bit of grime and grit. Like, um, and what he does with the instruments is, you know, there's a there's a track, um, the last track on the album, mm -hmm. where the piano so sounds so crisp, so clean, but there's this little bit of like yeah. distortion to yeah. it. And that, that's what he does with all of the instruments on the track. And that, that fits your voice perfectly and it feels like a complete whole sound. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. That's, that's what exactly what we were going for. Is like everything complementing the other, nothing taking away from the other. Thank you so much. Thank you. You rock. This has been really fun. Goodbye. Party to flush me. Love you, darling. I love you too. <laughs>